Double A nitro burning fuel alders hold a very special place in the heart of any hardcore drag racing fan. Here's more action from the matchup between Dave Benjamin and Who is Sweet in the Sweet Thrills Alter. Modern day fuel alters are virtually identical to nitro burning funny cars, with the exception, of course, of the body configuration. Now, watch closely on this pass as Lewis Sweet gets horribly out of shape and is forced to abort his run. What happens when you stick a supercharged big block Chevrolet motor in the back end of a pickup truck? It's reach for the sky action. Here's Rick Parker from Spokane, Washington with the one night stand Chevrolet pickup wheel standard. <laughs> Top alcohol dragster action took center stage at Ray City's Division 6 points meet. Here's Edmonton's Kenny Sitko in the Arctic Traveler up against Washington State's Ted Gord in Teddy's Toy. Winnipeg's Doug Doucette lays a major league hole shot on Calgary's Len Poteau and goes on to register the victory. Back to top alcohol funny car action, Calgary's own Bateman and Reynolds Showdown 3 Pontiac Trans Am up against the man known as the Northwest hitter. Bucky Austin in his Oldsmobile Cutlets. This one turned out to be a day to remember for Calgary's Bateman and Reynolds, as driver Roger Bateman recorded his first victory ever over arch rival and good friend, Bucky Austin. But the day really belonged to Victoria, B.C.'s Stan Sipos with his awesome Oldsmobile Cutlass top alcohol funny car, wrenched by Calgary's own Les Davenport. On this day, Stan reset the existing Race City track record no less than five times. Another exciting matchup during the Division 6 points meet saw Calgary's own Vern Schultz in the Wild West Racing Hot Wings Dodge Daytona take on the man they call the Idaho Kid, Jet Field from Pocatello, Idaho. Watch closely as Vern Schultz lays a major league ball shot on Jet Field, but Field powers back and records the victory. Competition eliminator action saw Calgary's Ryan Davenport, son of Funny Car Crew Chief Les Davenport, record a victory over Bruce Perkins' beautiful 1963 Corvette. One of NHRA Division 6's strongest running competition eliminator cars is Edmonton's Ken Reach with his specialty auto-sponsored Pontiac Trans Am. Here's more exciting super comp action as Calgary's own Tony DiStefano in his Chevrolet Cavalier takes on Don Pettit's Vega Wagon. Both cars break out, but DiStefano breaks out by less and takes the victory. Super gas action continues with Ken Thompson in his beautiful big block Chevrolet powered Ford altered roadster. He calls it blown income. Another premier matchup in top alcohol funny cars saw Roger Bateman take on Stan Sipos. The race was even till about half track, but then the superior horsepower of Sipos' Oldsmobile allowed him to take the victory. Here's another look at the gorgeous Oldsmobile Cutlass of the Idaho kid, Jet Field. This time, Jet lays down a single by run. Back to competition eliminator action for a moment, as the Calgary-based altered of Ryan Davenport takes on Edmondson's best, Ken Reich, and his 1991 Pontiac Trans Am. Here's another of the crowd-pleasing Battle of Alberta matchups, featuring Edmonton's Ed Greco and his IROC Camaro against Calgary's best Roger Bateman and the Bateman and Reynolds Showdown 3. Without a doubt, 
Two of the most popular nitro-burning funny cars ever to appear at Ray City were Bellflower California's Gary Denjim in the Teacher's Pet Thunderbird and Rocket Rodney Flournoy in his Chevrolet Beretta nitro-burning funny car. It was a much-anticipated matchup between these 4,000-horsepower ground pounders. Now, watch closely. Even though Gary Denjim loses traction and likes his tires, he still backpedals the car and records the victory against Rocket Rodney Flournoy. Once again, Colorado's Keith Jackson in the High Heaven Dodge Daytona Nitro Burning Funny Car. Bracket racing is the backbone of drag racing. Let's sit back and watch some bracket matchups. So whoever said that a pickup truck could not run high 7 second and low 8 second elapsed times? Here's Joe Delahaye out of Surrey, B.C. with his outrageous 1972 Chevrolet pickup. Running a nitrous oxide assisted big block Chevrolet motor, Joe completes another crowd-pleasing pass at Ray City Speedway. Proving again that he feels just as comfortable in a top fuel dragster as in a top fuel funny car, Edmonton's Terry Cap completes another pass in the Royal Canadian. Here's another look at the awesome Suzuki-based pro-stock drag bike of the Flow Research team from Edmonton and rider Walter Dwellsdorf. 